Stars actually melts at the temperature. You do have an added bonus apparently though. Lower the than uh, heat the shrink here, since it has does. a little so bit of glue in it, and not only keeps the moisture out, the solder, but it also the helps the whole thing keep the water from tugging. So I want to try one of these so today to see if these actually on do work. Now, what the instructions tell you to do is basically tuck it on the wire like that. Now, I always thought and these were instead of really, putting really a cool. piece of these wire in one end and a piece of wire in the other, you're supposed to kind of intermingle them like this. Now you can I also melt like this. this with a match or a lighter. I just prefer a heat gun because the heat gun is only so hot and, get them kind of and tight. you don't burn them up. And then, you slip the tube over. So there we go. Like so. It's nice and sealed on that end. You can see how it kind of changed color. Up just like that. And now we're not going to crimp it. Nice we're going to try to melt it and see if this works. And that so we turn is on the heat a really good here. connection. Now I have the heat gun on high. With this pinch piece of metal down inside. And you can see the heat shrink is already starting to melt, which is a good sign. And you can see the color bands here on the end, they've actually started to melt as well. And I don't see any solder melting yet. Actually, I'm just starting to see it melt. And I believe it's melted. Now I am going to say the one thing that bothers me about these connectors is anybody that's done any soldering before, they kind of understand that you have to get the material that you're soldering to hot enough to melt the solder. And what I was afraid when I first seen these is that maybe when you put the heat on, on the, the whole ring here, that once you melt the solder, that the insides might not be hot enough to soak in the solder. So the copper wires have to be hot enough to melt the solder. Now the bonus here is they claim that this particular solder is a very low melting temperature style of solder. Now I'm going to say that when I tug on the wires, they actually feel like they are together with solder the glue and the heat shrink isn't really holding it together but i'd like to cut it apart and see just how good this particular solder joint is so i'm just going to take a regular utility knife here and just kind of cut down into it and then we're just going to examine it to see if these things really are working or not now i cut some of the solder way on that i'm going to try not to do that around the the rest of it here but so far, I'm not totally impressed. It looks like to me that we had a little bit of success on just the outer strands and the inside never got hot enough to soak up the solder. Now this is, um, I'm gonna take a guess, probably 10 gauge wire. So it's pretty thick wire, it might actually be 12, but it's somewhere in there. But I can definitely see that um, if you watch, you can see some of the strands didn't get any solder on them at all. Now, I would not call this a very good solder joint, and I wouldn't be comfortable with this if it was something that I myself was wanting to last a long time. I would actually rather use a regular butt connector, a crimp style connector, as opposed to this by what we've seen. But we can give it the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe it doesn't do well with larger wires, and we can try maybe a smaller wire, and let's see what happens there. Now, this is a size 22 wire. 22 gauge and I'm using the red crimpers which